We're from Harbor Creek High School, and this is our personal finance challenge. I'm Jenna Adams. I'm Kathy Ho. I'm Chris Lilly. I'm Gabby Salas. Um, this is the budget that we made for Sean and Heidi Bradley. Their annual, so we have the annual, annual salary and all their debts and their monthly income and their discretionary money, roughly, it was around $3,000. Um, so these are their expenses for the month, like their house payment, their like cable, car insurance, and um, they should be left with roughly around fifteen thousand after he uh, sells the, the, rent, the rental home and then splits it with his brother. How can they be more efficient in handling their debts? They can be efficient in handling their debts by selling the rental home and making a profit. Then pay all the debts except for the house payment and put money back into savings and the children's college funds. What can they do to address their goals? To better address their goals, both Sean and Heidi can take money from the rental house that was sold and put it towards the children's funds to let it draw interest for a longer amount of time. By keeping a consistent payment on their home, they will be able to pay it off three to five years before retirement and they will have extra money since they will not have credit card or car payment debts. So therefore they will have money, extra money for health care costs. Um, we didn't really see any like, need to change their goals but what we did come up with is they could add more and they could make more like payments to the house and paying off the house and um, any extra money putting it into the children's fund. For the unseen expenses, they could put the extra money that they have, they could put $50 each month, which will allow them to help pay $600 in emergency funds, and if they put that in the bank account, then that will grow interest, so that will have even more money. So what should they do about their retirement savings? So if they're on track, they should pay off their home in about 2042. And after that, Heidi should bump her 401k up to 5%, and the company will match it 100% with, for her retirement later. Um, and Sean needs to contribute at least $200 each month to his 401k to be on track for a good retirement. So with the tax family, with the money, um, they can divide up the extra money that they have in their savings and emergency accounts, and they can also put the extra money college arts for the children. Um, so, what, so what we said for the regarding their income tax that they get back, they need to pay off their state that they owe the state and then put that extra money into paying off the mortgage for their house sooner. So with their extra cash, like for example their $3,000 that uh, Heidi got for a bonus, they should take one fourth of it and put it into each child's uh, college fund, and then the other half should be for emergency fund savings. And and so at the end, Sean mentioned that he was willing to pick up a couple odd jobs. So we just made a schedule of things that he could do to make a little bit of extra money. So for Monday through Thursday, he could do one hour of ten dollar jobs, or like odd jobs, you know, helping out neighbors, mowing lawns, doing things like that. And then Friday and Saturday, he could, he could do Ubering, which would probably be about $15 an hour. And if he did that for two to three hours, he can do it on his own time. And, and then Sunday, obviously, he needs time to spend with his family. Um, so that would be about $100 extra a week for a little extra spending cash. And that's the end of our presentation. Do you guys have any questions? the insurance piece. Did you talk about that? I'm sorry, I was writing notes. Like the car insurance, the life insurance? Any extra, um, they were going to divide it, so um, to put it towards their college. Then the children split it and put it towards the college um, for the kids, for the children, for the college uh, So you'd get rid of the whole life? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, towards their college. They said they wanted to put their school. Yeah. Her, their, they get she gets health insurance from her company. Okay. The company will pay for her health insurance. Okay. 
about the life insurance. Did you guys address that? Did you see that? No? That's okay. In um, looking at the retirement savings, I um, just want to see if I understand correctly. You were saying they should continue to make paying the house off, the mortgage, a priority, and then worry about funding the retirement after the house was paid off? Is that what your, your plan was? No, but they should um, continue paying, but then after the house is paid off, take that extra money and put it towards their funding. Okay. So just bump it up. Okay, so increase it yeah. once they, okay. Did you, did you guys look at um, projecting any like totals that they might want to save for either like how much they were going to need for college in the 18 years or maybe like how much they would need to retire? Did, did you guys get into any of that at all? Um, we said like whatever like they could put, they should put as much as possible, but like there's never really uh, like a guarantee that they'll make that money. Like, sure, sure. And we also looked at the children are too young, so if the kids get really good grades and they should get scholarships. So I'll be less money that they have to spend. Just on the short-term side, I'm just curious, would you have suggested that they go on the trip to Disney? Uh, no, because they didn't really have the money to do that. Maybe in the future, though, after they have all their debts paid off, they could. But that's so that $8,000, just hypothetically, what would, you, what would you suggest they do with that? Would they would have spent on the Disney trip? Or put it down on their house mm -hmm. to pay it off earlier. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Nice job. Oh,